Hey guys, Brickin here and welcome back to another LEGO Brick Haul, a weekly segment I do where I take a look at everything LEGO that's arrived through my mail this week. What have I bought? Well, let's find out. Okay, so starting off the week is probably the worst set that I've bought and probably the least interest to everybody, so I'll showcase it first. But this set usually retails at $14.99 and that's set 60213, the Fire Dock Fire Boat. So I picked this up for like nine pounds. So I thought it was really reasonable and something I could do on my mini build Mondays. Um, and I wasn't too interested in this part of it actually, but more interested in the dock itself. It's got some nice brown pieces and I really like these gasoline tanks, which I don't have anything of. And this minifig here looks pretty cool in his jacket and his kind of white jumper underneath. And I just kind of liked this. I liked this printed piece here, which I thought was useful. And then the fact that I have no fire kind of characters in my city at the moment, I thought, why not? It's got like in this nice curved window and stuff. So I thought, piece count it kind of looked quite interesting so I just picked it up on a whim. The back kind of showcases everything this guy's here on the docks the fire that kind of shoot the studs to shoot it out nothing really too amazing but I'll probably use this in a mini world Monday so um, let me know if you guys want to see that sooner rather than later and I'll do a video on this. So that's the first one. Next on the list is a set that's usually $17.99 and that is the LEGO Speed Champions Nissan GTR set 76896. And I got this at like 11 or 12 pounds this week, which I thought was absolutely crazy. So I was originally going to build the set on London Bridge, Bridge, Bridge Bricks' channel this week. Shout out to London Bridge Bricks. Absolutely amazing channel. Go and check him out if you get a chance to. But I decided to instead build my 3-in-1 creator set from last week's haul. But this will probably be happening on another live stream or another... Uh, mini build Monday and I just thought it was really cool. I'm now been collecting these sets. I've got the Audi Quattro, I've got the Ferrari F40 and the Porsche 911. So I kind of love this car in real life so I thought why not pick it up? It was on such a great deal. So taking a look at the back it just shows the really cool, really you know these lights are so recognizable in the world of sports and it just looks really cool and the fact there's the new eight stud ones so you can have two characters in it, it looks really interesting. I'm really hoping this guy also has a hair piece, but we'll have to wait and open it to find out. So again, that's another one that could be in a mini world Monday. Let me know if you're interested in this and I'll put this sooner rather than later, but I've got quite a backlog at the moment. So just let me know and this will go out sooner. So that's that set. Then we move on to the next most expensive set and it is actually a, another set of Lego minifigs. And just to prove that it is another set, here's my other set. So I have brought two of these bad boys and this was because WH Smith were running a really good deal for buying 60 of these this week. And it was like, these are usually 210 pounds from the Lego store if you want to buy them. Um, with loads of discounts and things, I managed to pick this up for 117 pounds, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Me and the uh, and Mrs. Brickinet, she's actually going to become Mrs. Brickinet next year and we're going to get married. So this could be something that we're thinking of doing for favors for people where we create our own pick a mini uh, fig wall and we kind of get everything that I've been getting together and you can go make your own minifig. So stay tuned, I might do a vlog of our wedding day when we get to do that next year. So these are probably gonna play an integral part in that. So I just thought, why not? They were on, basically worked out like £1.95 a minifigure, which I thought was a great deal. So that's why I got that. And then the last big set here is one you've probably already seen because I will have live streamed it by now, but it is the Lego Haunted House. And this is so big, the box doesn't even fit on the camera. But this is obviously the new fairground collection ride that's just come out. This is something I had to buy as soon as it became available on the VIP program. It's such an awesome, awesome uh, Lego set. And I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy the live stream of this that I've been doing. Um, and the review of this will be coming out soon after I do that live stream. So let's put everything else on top of this set just to show what I've got this week. Put it all out there. So there are the four sets two small sets and two rather big sets. Still waiting for Bricklink orders. I don't know what's going on with my Bricklink orders this week. So annoying, but I know you guys like watching these things anyway. I like kind of seeing what I'm doing with my updates to my city and stuff. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.